Thank you for joining us at XM.com for today's market comments by Marios Hadjigiriakos. I'm Maria Pashardabis. The European Central Bank kept interest rates unchanged yesterday and did not really provide any fresh signals about the path of monetary policy. President Lagarde stressed that it was still premature to discuss rate cuts, but investors did not take her words at face value, as she also emphasized stagnant economic growth and the sharp decline in core inflation. Most importantly, Lagarde did not explicitly push back against market bets that her central bank would slash rate interest rates in April. That gave traders the green light to add to those bets. The implied probability for an April rate cut rose above 90% in the aftermath, which in turn inflicted damage on the euro. Market participants are essentially betting that a softer economic data pulse will force the ECB's hand into cutting rates in April. As for the euro, there isn't much to be optimistic about. The eurozone economy continues to teeter on the verge of a technical recession, and there isn't any real stimulus on the horizon to kickstart growth. A weaker growth profile could keep the euro on the ropes, especially against the dollar, which is reaping the benefits of a resilient U.S. economy. In the United States, GDP growth clocked in at an annualized pace of 3.3% in the fourth quarter, surpassing economist projections and putting the final touches on a stellar year for the world's largest economy. Even though the GDP print smashed expectations, the dollar did not receive much of a boost, most likely because the inflation metrics in this report surprised to the downside. With inflation losing its kick, traders maintained their bets that the Fed will launch an easing cycle by the summer. Over in Japan, the yen is under pressure on Friday, following some disappointing inflation stats from Tokyo. Inflation in the Japanese capital slowed to 1.6% in January, from 2.4% previously, dealing a blow to speculation that the Bank of Japan could raise interest rates in April. U.S. equity markets reached new record highs on Thursday, drawing fuel from a Goldilocks GDP report that instilled confidence in the soft landing narrative as economic growth remained robust while inflation continued to cool. That said, futures point to a slightly lower open today following lackluster earnings from Visa and Intel. The decisive battle will take place next week amid a litany of earnings from Wall Street's tech titans, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and Meta. Thanks for watching today's market comment here at XM.com.